Alrighty, welcome back to another episode of your uh, fixing the AA rosters. <laughs> Wasn't sure what to call it once again, um, but no. Uh, part seven of fixing the roster. Um, get another episode in. I just go home from work. I'm gonna get another episode in before the Habs game is on tonight. Um, hopefully, we're gonna get some good uh, editing in today. We're gonna start with the Boston Bruins. Now we did finish, I think, all of the non-playoff teams already, so. We're going to move on to the playoff teams. Hopefully we'll go through this quickly. But uh, we're going to start with the Boston Bruins. The big bad Bruins. Let's see. Brad Marshall led their team with 69 points. Let's go. Nice. <laughs> with a 1.3 point per game. Damn. Hey, Liv. How's it going? <laughs> how's it going, Liv? Welcome to the party. Yes, exactly. That's what I like to see. That's what I like to see. It is a party in here. It is a party indeed. All right, so Brad Marshall gets a nice upgrade. That's for sure. He had 69 points. Nice. In 53 games. It's a pretty darn good uh, pretty darn good total there. Let's boost his speed, his endurance, his puck control. There we go. Now, I will leave him as a two-way forward because that is his play style. But uh, he's definitely earned... Okay, maybe not a 93. But he's definitely earned like a 92. So they're going to put that up there. There we go. Brad Marshall, 92 overall. Good for him. Well deserved upgrade. That is for sure. Patrice Bergeron, 48 points, a .89 pace. It's a 73 point season. It's around like an 89. But uh, he's not known for his offense as much as known for his defense. So his offensive stats are okay. Face-offs. Yeah, they deserve to be pretty high. <laughs> um, hand eye is good. Offense awareness, maybe I'll lower it a little bit. Maybe like a 92 or 91. But defensive awareness, I'll leave up there. There you go. 90 overall for Patrice Bergeron. I think it's quite fair. And I'm going to make sure that uh, his potential is... Uh, is good so he doesn't drop off a cliff right away because I always find that he gets bad quickly. Uh, David Pasternak. Now, David Pasternak only had 48 points in 48 games. I do believe he was battling injury, but I think he's fine at the overall he's at. Taylor Hall is an interesting one. He had a very good pace since joining uh, Boston. He's been very, very good, actually, since joining Boston. So his speed can stay the same. Passing, all that is all up there. It's all up there. Offense awareness, maybe I'll boost like a 90. There you go. That's it. 88 overall Taylor Hall. That was easy. Boston's going to be fairly easy, but I just want them to be a, a good team. Uh, Charlie McAvoy. 30 points, a plus 22. 87 overall seems quite fair. David Krejci with a .86 pace. That's a 71 point season. So yeah, he's he deserves at least an 87. His speed's not crazy, but his passing is something else that's for sure his accuracy on his shot is pretty decent uh face-offs how was your face-offs my guy 54 percent that's pretty darn good that's pretty darn good deking definitely deserves, deserves good deking defense awareness maybe i'll lower it but i'll upgrade his offense awareness a lot there you go 87 overall david Krejci. uh medium six let's make him uh medium elite that way he doesn't drop off again. I don't know. I find these Boston players don't show any, haven't really shown much sign of regression. You know what I mean? Craig Smith. Craig Smith is definitely a two-way forward. He had a .59 pace. In 82 games, it's a 48-point season. That's an 83 overall. So congratulations to Craig Smith. You get a little upgrade, my guy. You put some goals in. You did your thing. You worked hard. That's all you could ask for. That's all you could ask for, honestly. Aggressiveness, a boost. 83 overall, Craig Smith. I think it's quite fair. So Charlie McAvoy, Craig Smith. Nick Ritchie, 26 points. I think that's fair. Jake DeBrusque, I think, is also fair, if not generous. Andre Kasha, I don't think he played all year. I don't know what his problem was, but... I don't know what happened to him, but he didn't play all year. Charlie Coyle. 16, he had a rough year. I'll leave him as is. Brandon Carlo. 
I mean, Brandon Carlo's not really known for his uh, offense, but uh, I'll leave him as is as well. John Moore. Where's John Moore at? He didn't really play. Kevin, Kevin Miller. Four points. Didn't really play crazy amounts. How about uh, Mike Riley? Ooh, Mike Riley had a pretty darn good time. <laughs> had a pretty darn good time here in Boston. His, his offense showed. You know what I mean? His offense really showed there. So it boosts his offensive stats a little bit. Boosts his uh, hand-eye. Boosts his offensive awareness a little bit, up to an 86. Jeez, he's not really... There you go, 82 overall I think is quite fair. I think I'm going to make Mike Riley an offensive defenseman. I don't know. I think that's just a good idea. Maybe I'm maybe I'm over overrating him a little bit, but uh, he looked pretty good in Boston, and I think he's gonna stay in Boston. Whoops! I just dropped an apple. I think he's gonna stay in Boston. I don't I don't see him leaving. You know, when you finally find somewhere that works for you, you want to stay. Sean Corrali. He's an interesting one. I think he's fine. Chris Wagner, fine as well. Curtis Lazar. This is an interesting one. Four points. Ah, he's fine. Jeremy Lozen. Jeremy Lozen played a lot. I think he earned the right to be upgraded a little bit. I think he earned the right to be upgraded just a little bit. You know, he, he played pretty well. I haven't heard many people complain about him as much as they which they maybe used to about his lack of development. But I'm just going to make him like a... Jeez, man. They give him terrible stats. Holy poop. There you go. Jeremy Lozen. Nice little upgrade for him. 80 overall. Uh, Mike Riley. Connor Clifton. Connor Clifton. Where is he at? I already gave a nice upgrade to Matt Grizzly, but Connor Clifton. He's another interesting one. He played a lot of played a lot of games. He played pretty well. Plus ten. I give him a nice little upgrade. He's better than people give him credit for. That's for sure. Um, and I don't want to make him too good. I don't want to make him too broken. I guess 79 is quite fair. There we go. Connor Clifton. Uh, anybody else? Am I missing anybody else? Nope. Alright, there you go, Boston. Enjoy your upgrades. Trent Frederick. Was he not? Oh, it wasn't him. It wasn't him. Never mind. Uh, Trent Frederick, I thought he played more than this. Wait, I thought he... Oh, he didn't have a great year. All right, that's fine. Goalies. Duke Rask. Jeremy Swimman is... Wow. Really? That low? <laughs> that low. AEA Sports, that low. They don't like Jeremy Swimman very much in this game, do they? My mans. 9.45 in his NHL debuts. <laughs> and he looked good. Let me tell you, he looked good. Um, Jeremy Swimman. Let's upgrade him a little bit. Very consistent. I don't want to be too quick to boost him because he did only play 10 games, but I think his 80 overall is quite, quite fair for Jeremy Swayman. Considering they gave Spencer Knight a medium elite 81 overall, I think Jeremy Swayman earned the right to at least be an 80. Daniel Vladar did not play well. The Aeroslav Halak did not play great. Probably going to downgrade him a little bit. I'm going to boost his potential, but downgrade him, if that makes sense. Um, there, 82 overall for Halak. Just a little downgrade. You know, he, he's still a reliable backup. He battled injury, I think, this year. Tuka Rask, 15 5 and 2, 9 13. It's pretty solid. I'm going to downgrade him a little, little bit. Although he's, he was very good in the playoffs this year. 
88 overall, I think, is quite fair for Tukarask. All right, who's next? Buffalo, Calgary. I think we already did Calgary, right? We already did Buffalo. Chicago. Oh, no. Carolina. What am I saying? Carolina. Carolina. I like Carolina. They're a fun team. Alex Nedeljkovic. Nedeljkovic. A 9.32. He's looked pretty darn promising. He's looked pretty darn promising, if you ask me. I think an 83 overall is a very fair way to start for him. All right. And then Peter Morazic had a 9.23, and James Reimer had a 9.06. I'm going to downgrade James Reimer just slightly. Just slightly. To like an 82 overall, I think is quite fair. Just to start. Just to start. But Nedeljkovic definitely earned that upgrade. He played a 9.32 in a big sample size. Um, moving on to the Carolina forwards. Moving on to the Carolina forwards. All skaters, not playoffs, regular season. Sebastian Ajo had 57 points in 56 games. Is he a two-way forward, though, is the real question. I tend to think not. <laughs> but um, the game tends to think so. So I'm not sure what to do with that. High elite, I think, is quite fair. Speed is very good, very good there. I tend to think not also. So, thank you, Liv. <laughs> thank you, Liv, for agreeing with me. Uh, face-off percentage. He's, he's a good face-off, man. He's sneaky good at the face-offs there. Poise, yeah, I'll give him that. Aggressiveness, upgrade that a little bit. Upgrades defensive awareness, offensive awareness. Sebastian Aho gets a nice little upgrade. Maybe 92, 91's a little high. I'm going to make him a playmaker. I think 91's a little high. I'm going to downgrade his defensive awareness just a little bit. It's a little high. There you go. 90 overall seems quite fair. It's a little high, yeah. <laughs> Liv, I think you're disagreeing with everything I'm saying. But I'll take it. I'll take it. Dougie Hamilton's up to an 87, which is nice to see. Nice to see they finally got him right. I'm going to boost him a slight bit, but not too much. Make him medium elite. I'm just agreeing with everything you're saying. Nice. Thanks, Liv. <laughs> Um, well, I like it. Alright, offense awareness. How's he not gotten better? What the heck? There you go, Dougie Hamilton, 88 overall. Meet him elite. There you go. A plus 20 on the year, too. He's played very well. Andrei Svechnikov, 87 overall. Seems more than fair to me. Probably gonna leave him as a sniper. Mm. I don't know. Actually, I'd say Aho is more of a sniper, actually. Looking at their totals, I'd say you're more of the power forward. If I had to guess out of the bunch. Aho only has 15 goals. I mean, sorry, Sveshkov only has 15 goals, whereas Aho has 24. He's definitely a sniper here. What the heck? <laughs> what kind of player are you, Mike? Uh, Two-way forward, for sure. Absolutely a two-way forward. I've got the stone hands to go with it. Uh, Toivo Teravainen barely played this year, so it's kind of hard to to judge him one way or the other. But um, I think he definitely has speed and passing, and his shot's definitely pretty good. I want to be fair to Toivo, Toivo Teravainen, and. Uh, My mom wants me to go see a groundhog that's living under a deck, so I'll be right back. <laughs> I'll fill you in on the groundhog, I guess. I don't know. I'll be right back. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I'm being summoned. One second.
Well, that was interesting. <laughs> it was just a giant groundhog chilling in my backyard. Just hanging out. Michael got killed by the ground. <laughs> I'm not dead. I would not get destroyed by a groundhog. I'll include a picture of the groundhog so that way it keeps people entertained. I just finished my apple pie. I brought a, I brought the plate up when I went up. In case you're a, no, I'm not eating the groundhog. That's gross, Liv. Ew. Right, I think Jacob's sleeping's fine the way he is. I'm gonna make him a leap potential that way he doesn't drop off easily all the time. Okay, I'm not even gonna answer Liv anymore. <laughs> oh my goodness. Bet Pesci, you don't need a rider. Jordan Stahl. Jordan Stahl had a good year. 0.72 pace. It's a 59 point season for Jordan Stahl. 85 overall. Nice, yeah, he's about right. I'll upgrade his potential. He doesn't look like he's slowing down. There you go, Jordan Stahl. Enjoy your your boost. <laughs> Just a slight boost to Jordan Stahl, the new captain. The captain down there in Carolina, the other Stahl. Martin Nietzsche as well is going to get an upgrade. A .77 pace puts him at a 63-point pace, about an 86. So, damn. And I think I think a lot of Carolina Hurricanes fans would uh, would be calling for his uh, his upgrade. It's definitely got good. Good hands. He's got a pretty good shot on him too. Good agility, good strength, good acceleration. He's a good skater, is what I'm getting at. He's a very good skater, Martin Nietzsche. Nietzsche, I think that's his name. Deking, you welcome him that durability. Did he get injured? Not really, so uh, not that high though. He did miss a few games. Poise, I'll give a little upgrade to. There you go. There you go. Martin Nietzsche, 86 overall. What's his potential in medium elite? Perfect. Perfect. Man, Carolina's looking like a good team. Uh, next up is uh, Vinny Trocek. Uh, 85 overall Vinny Trocek had a .91 pace uh, in Carolina, which is a 75 point pace. So he gets a little upgrade there. He gets a little upgrade. I don't know if I'd consider him a uh, two-way forward, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. I'll leave it as is for now, but I'm going to boost some of his stats here. Face-offs, how do you do? Really good. Really good. Durability, he doesn't really get injured, I don't think. Hand-eye, shot blocking, I'll boost there. Defensive awareness, I'll boost. Congratulations to Vinny Trocek. 2A forward, Vinny Trocek. <laughs> He's even a minus. I don't know how I give him 2A forward, but I'll trust EA Sports. Wobble D, wobble D, wop, wop, wobble, wobble, wobbin. Something so uh, is... Oh, okay, I'm... Alright. <laughs> I'm not reading that. Jordan Stahl, Brett Pesci, Jake Gardner. Is Jake Gardner too high? Yes. Too high for Jake Gardner. Man, that's tough. Remember there was a day when Jake Gardner was considered really good. He's too... <laughs> All caps, he's too high. Nice. There, 81. Because I don't think he's being underutilized, but 81 overall for Jake Gardner. Cedric Paquette, that doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Warren Fogel, Jake Bean. Hey, Jake Bean finally got an upgrade. Let's go. Jesper Fast is fine. Brock McGinn, 13 points, a .35 pace. What would that give him? 29 points season. Eh, he's fine where he is. Cedric Paquette. Uh, Drew Martino, Kakenpah. Morgan Geeky, is Morgan Geeky better than he than he should be? Could be upgraded a little bit, but I think he's fine. Steven Lorenz, how did you do? Not terribly, actually. I'll give you medium top nine. <laughs> or actually, I'll give him high bottom six. Give him a chance. There's only two types of people in the world: the ones that entertain and the ones that observe. Nice. That's a nice little quote there, Liv. Oh, she's quoting something. Okay. I don't know what the heck Liv's quoting, but she's quoting something. All right, Colorado Avalanche. Get a, get a nice little look next. 
then after the Colorado, after the Colorado, I don't know what Liv's quoting at this point. Um, after the Colorado Avalanche, we're going to move on and do a, a little GM mode type of thing. So Nathan McKinnon is something else, man. He's something else. Speed, body checking is definitely up there. Puck control, passing, like, the shot power and accuracy are up there too. Everything else can kind of be left alone. Defense awareness maybe I'll lower a bit for offensive. And then, uh, how are his face-offs? Pretty bad. Strength upgrade. There you go. Misses Hockalicious. Hockeylicious. Nice, Liv. I have no idea what the... I think you're saying Fergalicious, but in a different way. Miko Rantan is definitely going to get an upgrade as well. He looks very good. He looks very good. Uh, high elite. So good speed, good body. He's very physical too. Puck control, passing's very good. His slap shot's good. Shot's very good. Well, that's my co-host name. Oh, Hockeylicious is your co-host name? Nice. Faceoffs? <laughs> he actually wasn't terrible. He doesn't get injured as much as Mc as McKinnon. Poise, hand eye, shot blocking, offense awareness. There you go. Miko Ranton, I think it's a nice upgrade. I'm just trying to reflect the current state of the league. So I know I'm upgrading these guys a lot. Gabriel Landis Landis Cog, I'll give a bit of an upgrade to as well. Yours is Dump Truck Dangle. <laughs> That's my nickname. Um Thank you? I don't know. I don't know, Liv. That's interesting, to say the least. All right. I think Landis Cog is pretty much good the way he... He wins face-offs, man. What the hell? I think Landis Cog is good the way he is. Oh, you're going to go work out? All right, well, have fun, Liv. It was nice having you here. I'm going to do the uh, GM mode after the Colorado Avalanche. So... Have fun doing your workout. I hope it's a good one. And uh, I'll see you later. Let's upgrade Kale McCarr a little bit here. High Elite. That's good. That's uh, that's good. That's good. That's good. Man's the playoff performer. And there you go. Kale McCarr, 89 overall. Kale my car. <laughs> Uh, Andre Burkowski had a good year too, a .83, a .83 pace, damn, that's a 68 point season, that's an 86 overall for Andre Burkowski, hot oh, damn, good for him, um, I'll think about the high six in a second, don't worry, I'm not sure yet, I'm not sure about that yet, Was it 87, 68 point season? No, 86. Ah, there we go. Andre Burkowski. Nice little upgrade for him. 86 overall, high top six. I think it's quite fair. Nazim Kadri, 85. Seems pretty dead on, honestly. Sam Girard. Sam Girard. 85. I'm going to make him a high. I'm going to make him 84 high top four. I think that's quite fair. <laughs> I think that's quite fair. Um, Jonas Donskoy had a great year too. What the heck? I mean, who did in Colorado, right? 50 point pace for him. That's an 84 overall. Who didn't have a good year in Colorado? Let's be real. <laughs> they all had fun. They just all had fun out there. Um, body checkings up there. Puck control. Passing. Already missing live. <laughs> On my own again. That's okay. That's okay. We can do it. It's, I enjoyed it alone too. It's all good. It's all good. There we go. Let's make him a medium six. So his potential doesn't drop off a cliff. 
Uh, hopefully he's a two-way forward. I'm going to change him to two-way forward if he's not already. Perfect. All right, Sam Gerard, Brandon Saad. Brandon Saad is an interesting one. 24 points, 0.55 pace. I think he, 45 points. He is where he is. Nice. Eric Johnson. I think this guy was injured all year, wasn't he? Yeah, he played four games. Wow. Only four games for Eric Johnson. I don't know what to make him then. Let's boost his speed a little bit and his puck control. I think I'm 84. But other than that, I'm going to leave him as is because I. You can't judge in four games, man. You can't. You really can't. Um, Brian Saad, Devon Taves. Devon Taves is an interesting, interesting one as well. 31 points, a plus 29. I'm going to make him a bit better, I think. Very good. Man, I can't believe they got him from the Islanders. How do you give this guy up? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it doesn't make sense. Why do you give this guy up? There's something we're missing? Like, I don't, I don't understand. DK, I'll upgrade a little bit too. Aggressiveness. Hand eye. Shot blocking, defensive awareness. There you go. Devon Taves, 85 overall. Holy cow, they're a juggernaut. Valerie Nishushkin at .38 pace. 31 points, 81 overall. Where is he at? Jeez, man, they're mean. They're mean to Nishushkin. I don't think he's a medium top six anymore. I think he's a high top nine. Um... That's good. Yo, his body checking has been destroyed. Puck control. And he's a he's a penalty killer now, eh? He, he's a good defensive player now. Nishushkin. So 81 overall is fine by me. Eighty one overall is fine by me. I think they're gonna have him as a sniper though, so let me just fix these stats here. Yeah, they still have him playing like a sniper. Like, he's a good defensive player. He's not, he's not, <laughs> he's not the sniper he used to be. You know what I mean? Hmm. I think he's fine as is. I guess. He's not a sniper anymore. He's a two-way forward. So I, I focus more on his defensive aspects of the game. I think this is quite fair for him. There we go. Valerie Nishushkin, JT Comfort can s probably stay at... Ooh, no. No, 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 no. Gets a little bit of an upgrade. Just a little bit. Not Nothing crazy. Just a little upgrade for JT Comfort. There we go. Made that easy for me. Uh, Tyson Jost. Can probably stay as he is. Medium six. Yeah, it's fine. Patrick Namath. Bowen Byram. How did Bowen Byram do? How did Bowen Byram do? Where is he? 19 games. Two points. That's fine. Uh, Jason Megna. Okay, he was okay, but not a lot of games. Sheldon Dries as well. Same thing. Uh, Logan O'Connor, how many games did you play? 20, 22 games. I'm gonna upgrade him a little bit, make him a medium top nine. I think he's a little, he's just a little downgraded. I mean, a little low. Just a little low. Now, I wish in, you know, I wish this game was programmed so that 76 overall players were, were your fourth and third line. But um, the, game, the, the way this game works, it's just not realistic, you know? Like, your fourth liners have to be 79 overall. You know, it just doesn't make sense. Like, you're 70, you have 79 overall fourth liners, and your first liners are 86 to 89. Like, there's barely a 10-point gap between them. Like, it's, you could have literal 82 overall players on your first line and still get away with it. Like, it just doesn't make sense. Uh, Dennis Gilbert. Did he play a lot this year? Not really. Dan Renouf? Renouf the goof? Eh, not really. Jacob McDonald? Last but not least, Jacob McDonald, did he play? He did play. He played a lot and he was good. 33 points. Ah, uh, sorry, 33 games. 9 points and a plus 14. That's. I mean, I'm not going to make him an 80 overall, but I'm going to make him at least a 78. 
so he can actually play in the NHL, like he did. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, there's just certain players I just don't get. I just don't get their overalls sometimes. There, now he's viable. Now he's viable to play on your third pairing like he did, and he did well. He's a plus 14 to 33 games. Like, that's not a coincidence. He played well. Goalies. Moving on to the goalies here in Colorado. Um, I think this has been an issue for a couple years, but uh, Philip Grubauer is a 9.22 in 39 games, so that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Um... So upgrade him a little bit. 922 in 30, 39 games. 88 overall is a little high. I'm gonna give him like an 87. Perfect. Consistency though, I'm gonna boost to a two. There you go. 87 overall, Philip Grubauer. I think that's perfectly fine. Because he does have a very good team in front of him. So 87 overall seems quite fair. Jonas Johansson. Jonas Johansson. Medium backup. 77 overall. He only played seven, eight games, 913. Make him a high fringe. How's that sound? A high fringe. Devin Dubnik, an 886. No, thank you. Hunter Miska, terrible. So Devin Dubnik is not. Devin Dubnik is not it anymore. He ain't it anymore. Um, make him in like an 80 or a 79. There you go. 79 overall for Devin Dubnik. Um, Hunter Miska. Miska, Miska. Is he on this team? Pavel Francouz was injured all year. I'll leave him like this. I think that's quite fair. Okay, well, Jonas Johansson was better than Dubnik, but I guess he also is still pretty young, right? So a lot of, <laughs> there's a lot of arguments to be made about player overalls. He's not a great backup yet, but I think a 78 is fair. He can contend with Devin Dubnik in the minors for them. There you go. Moving on from Colorado to Columbus. I think we already did. Yep. Dallas. Ben Bishop. Anton Kudobin. Jake Ottinger is already done. Yeah, we already added a Dallas, I think. Yeah, we added a Dallas. Perfect. Um, Detroit's already done. Edmonton. Oh, yay. Edmonton. Oh, Baby, this goaltending situation in Edmonton. Dear God. They already got knocked out of the playoffs. Mike Smith had a 9.23 in 32 games. So he's going to get an upgrade. Without doubt in my mind, he's going to get an upgrade. High starter. I mean, I'm going to make him high elite. This guy does not. <laughs> he just doesn't stop playing. Uh, consistency is going to be a 1 out of 2 for sure. But 9.23 in 30 games is a good total. Um, poise, I'm going to have lower. It's like a 76. So he's not the guy you want in the playoffs, but he is definitely good. 85 overall, I think, is quite fair for Mike Smith, especially at this point in his career. Miko Koskinen, 83 overall, on the other hand, is not good. He is not good. Not good enough to be that high. Probably like an 80 at most, I'd say. My man walks into a game, lets in the first four shots against the Vancouver Canucks. All four of the first shots go in on him. Brutal. Stuart Skinner. Okay, Alex Stalock. Did he even play? Who is this? Oh. Oh. I'm lowering Alex Stalock so that this guy can be the backup. Remember uh, Donovan Watherspoon? I won't spoil it, but we already did an Edmonton Oilers GM mode. I don't want to tell you what happened. But uh, let's just say Donovan Watherspoon was part of it. And uh, you get to enjoy it. Check out my YouTube channel. Check out my Twitch past broadcasts if you want. You can look at them. And you'll see why Donovan... Uh, Don, Donovan Wallerspoon? Just want to make sure I got it right. Yeah, Donovan Wallerspoon is a player. And he is an absolute beauty. I don't know if I can look at him. I can. Sweet. He is an absolute beauty. Look at this dude. Look at this man. Yeah, he's a beauty. So we're going to enjoy that in future franchise modes. Uh, so they have Mike Smith and the rookie behind him, and then the rookie's going to pass Mike Smith within a year. I guarantee it. Um, moving on to forwards in Edmonton. Moving on, I was wondering who the other goalie was. I was like, who's this guy? And I remembered, oh, yeah, for my, my GM mode, <laughs> I created this guy myself. All right, so Connor McDavid, 
105 points. Um, I made I made McKinnon like what, like a 94? So McDavid definitely has the highest speed in the game. Body checking, I'll leave around that. Puck control and passing all have to be the highest it could possibly be in the game. Endurance is definitely going to be up there. He plays nonstop. That's fair. Wrist shot power is never, like, it's not like the hardest. It's accurate as hell. 97. Agility. Nice. Strength is up there. What the heck? What are you saying? Acceleration. Face-offs. Can he win face-offs? No. Not really. Durability. Hasn't been injured in a while. I'll give him that. DK 97. I mean, 97. Poise. 85. How did he do in the playoffs, actually? I want, to, I want to know. What were his points? Four points in the playoffs. He has a point per game in the playoffs. You know what? 85 is fair. Or maybe an 82. Uh, hand eye, that's good. I mean, yeah. Shot blocking. Offensive awareness, 99. Defensive awareness. He is a flawed defensive player. So, like, compared to other players out there. Stick checking up there. So let's boost his offensive stats even more to make him even better. Um, so DK 99, uh, acceleration starting 99, strength up there, agility 99, uh, wrist shot power like 93, 99 accuracy, 99 accuracy, um, passing 99, endurance 95, <clears throat> body checking a little bit of an upgrade. 96 overall, Connor McDavid I think is quite fair. Should have high franchise. 96 overall, no, he's number 97. I can't diss him like that. I can't, <laughs> I can't diss him like that. There we go. Number 97 gets 97. All right. I think that's quite fair. Dry saddle is not going to be as high. Probably going to make him around, well, what he is, actually. I don't know if he's a center left wing or center right wing, but medium franchise, I'm making high franchise. Speed, he's not the fastest player ever, but body checking is strong. Puck control and passing is definitely there. Power, is, his shot is very good. I think 94 overall is perfect for Leon Dreisaitl. Uh Tyson Berry, 48 points in 56 games. He's not a two-way defenseman. I don't know who thinks... I don't know who in EA Sports thinks he's a two-way. He ain't a two-way. He ain't it. He ain't the two-way defenseman you want. Trust me. I saw him in, Tor <laughs> saw him in Toronto last year. He ain't the two-way defenseman you think he is. Um... Agility up there, acceleration, boosting all his offensive stats, because um, he's a good offensive defenseman, and that's the way Toronto should have been using him the whole time, but they weren't. So there you go, Tyson Berry, 87 overall. I think it's quite fair. Offensive defenseman, enjoy that. Edmonton, all right, Darnell Nurse, 36 points, a plus 27. This guy logs minutes like it's nothing. I'm going to boost him like an 80, 88. I'm thinking 88. <laughs> yeah, up there. 90 passing. Power up there. He's got a heck of a wrist shot. I've seen him take it against Montreal. 88 overall Darnell Nurse is quite fair in my humble opinion. Uh, Jesse Poole. And then, look, like they're top heavy, right? You know, these guys kind of carried them a little bit. Nugent Hopkins as well, but he's fine the way he is. I think. I think, right? 0. 0.67 times 82 is a 55 point pace. But I think he's slightly overrated. So I'm going to leave him as is. Uh, Clef Bomb didn't play this year. I'll leave him as is. Kelly Yamamoto, I'll leave him as is. Larson, Bear, Cahoon, all these guys can kind of stay as is. Pulley Yarvey's, okay. Pulley Yarvey, I want to be objective. 0. 0.85 times 82. Sorry, 0. 0.45. 37 point pace. It's like an 80 something overall. I think he's being slightly underrated. I think he's being slightly underrated. Yeah, that's, that's a fair assessment. Is he a sniper, though? I don't see him as a sniper. I don't see him as a sniper. I really don't. I see him more as like a power forward type of player. Maybe it's just me. Oh, he did have 15 goals, but I, the way he plays... I see him more as a power forward. He's big. He's physical. Grinds in the corners. Like, he grinds, man. Like, I, I think I think he earned power forward this year. Um, especially with his stature, too. 6'4". Uh, 201 pounds is not very heavy. I think I almost weigh as much as him, and I'm, like, three inches less. Like, three inches shorter, but whatever. Uh, who's counting, right? Uh, Kyle Turris is not great. Tyler Ennis, Leta Kukuk. Okay, everyone else. 
Well, actually, Evan Bouchard I want to look at. Yeah, that's fine. Jujar Kara, actually. No, that's... Well, okay, no. Jujar Kara is a little underrated. I think, he, I think he's a better player than that. <laughs> yeah, I think he's a bit of a player, better player than what EA Sports is giving credit for. Faceoffs. It's pretty bad. <laughs> Defensive awareness and shot blocking upgrade a little bit. Make him a good penalty killer. Uh, he's a two-way forward. And there you go, Juju Kara. Congratulations, you got a bit of an upgrade. Uh, everyone else can stay as is. If I am being generous to them, let's move on. Edmonton, Florida. We haven't done Florida yet, so let's do Florida next. Florida, 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 Florida. Oh, that's where the name came from for the rapper. <laughs> I just realized his name is just the name at the city of Florida with a space in between. Flo and Rida. That's embarrassing that I just figured that out. Whatever, you got to hear it first on stream. Jalen Huberto at a 91, I think is quite fair. Uh, Barkov at a 90 is not fair enough. Because he had more points than uh, Huberto. Speed, he's not like the fastest player ever, but like, it's still pretty quick when he wants to be. It's a like, good shot. Strength and balance. Where's his faceoffs? I'll get that a little bit. Durability, deking, aggressiveness, poise, hand eye, shot blocking. 92 overall for Alexander Barkov, I think is quite fair. Carter Verhage, what the hell? Where did you come from? A 69 point pace, nice. Uh, get someone 86. What the heck? Whose man's is Carter Verhage? <laughs> Where did he come from? Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from, Carter Verhage? Oh my god, I'm cringy. I'm really hungry. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm really excited to eat dinner. I, I smell lasagna upstairs. Uh, Carter Verhage, how's your face off? It's pretty bad. Uh, did I say 86? Yeah, 69 point pace, 86 overall. Carter Verhage, two way forward. Yeah, I think that's fair. Mackenzie Wegar, holy poop on a stick. 36 points, a plus 29. My man gets an upgrade and a half. He's being jit by EA Sports. I think he is a, like a two way, but uh, gypped, completely gypped. Deking, upgrade that a little bit, aggressiveness. Hand eye, shot blocking, defense awareness. There you go. There you go. Mackenzie Wigar, an 86 overall. Good for him. That's a really good season. I could have made him higher than that, I think. Uh, Patrick Hornfist, 84. Seems quite fair. Mackenzie Wigar is a left. Keith Yandel. I think it's time to recognize Keith Yandel. <laughs> ain't that. He ain't that anymore. Speed's lower. His puck control and passing are still pretty good. His endurance is lower. Like his offensive stats are still there. Agility is probably lower. Acceleration lower. Durability is definitely lower. D no, wait, no. Sorry, durability is like one of the best players for that. He, he got benched a lot this year. No, he didn't even get benched. Yeah, he, this guy doesn't get injured. Aggressiveness can stay up. Hand eye. Shot blocking comes down. Offensive awareness comes down. Defensive awareness comes down. There you go. 82 overall, Keith Yandel, I think, is quite fair. Um, I, I love this offensive stats pretty good. Like, if you look, offense awareness is good. Puck skills are still very good. Shooting still pretty solid. Just his defense and physical, I lowered. Uh, Anthony Duclair, 32 points, a .74 pace. Lower than Verhege, but a 61-point pace, nonetheless, is an 85. Good for him. Good for Anthony Duclair. I like to see players do well. High top six. No, I'll make a medium. Puck control, passing. Shots definitely very good. Agility. I said 85, right? There you go. That's all fine. That's all dandy. Offense awareness. Defense awareness, I'll lower. Offense awareness, I'll upgrade. There we go. Anthony Duclair is an offensive machine now, as he should be. Look at his stats. 
yeah, defense is low, but skating, puck skills, shooting, senses, there you go. It's a good player right there. Aaron Ekblad, yeah, he, he earned it this year. He played good, played good, well-rounded game. Uh, Brandon Montour, how is he looking there? Huh, don't have much on him. I'll leave him as is. Keith Yandel, Nudvera, I'll leave. Anton Strahlman. I'll leave him. Nikita Gusev. I think he's fairly new to the team. Five points. I'll leave him as is. Alex Wenberg. I want to be as uh, objective as possible. 0. 0.52 pace. I like Wenberg. 43 points. That's an 83 overall. Good for Alex Wenberg. Nice to see him do better than uh, than what EA was giving him credit for. <laughs> it's always nice to see players overperform, right? Agility, strength, acceleration. How are your face-offs, Mr. Wenberg? They're pretty average, so I'll leave, them as, leave that as is. Aggressiveness, I'll upgrade a little bit. Shot blocking as well. Defensive winners will lower because you're okay, but offensive winners will upgrade. And stitching. 83 overall is what I said, right? Yes, sir. There you go, Alex Wenberg. Congratulations, my friend. Frank Vitrano. Frank Vitrano could probably get an upgrade. Knowing him, he's going to get a 79 overall. He's an 80 overall. Jeez, uh, oh, man. EA Sports. Poor Frank Vitrano. Oh, my God, yeah. Poor Frank Vitrano. What the hell? <laughs> All right, there you go. I'll do that. Man, they have a few former Bruins here. <clears throat> Frank Vitrano. They have, uh, what's his name? What's his name? Uh, Noel Achari. Like, they have a few former Bruins on this team. There you go. Frank Vitrano gets an 82 overall. Congratulations. Yeah, Noel Achari, 11 points. So he's not the greatest ever, but I'll leave him like that. Low bottom, 6. Jeez. What the hell's wrong with you guys? Why are you lowering this guy's potential like that? <laughs> Holy Crap, I'm making him a low six. Screw you, man. EA Sports, that's so mean. This poor guy, <laughs> low bottom six, gonna drop off a cliff in no time. Lucas Walmark. Lucas Walmark. Didn't really play. Radko Gudas had a pretty solid year. I'm gonna upgrade his physical and defensive stats. Because, and then hear me out, the reason why, he played 54 games, he was a plus six and had 11 points. Make sure so he can hit the net on a soccer, like with a soccer ball, man. Like, geez. Um, deking, yeah, I mean, he's not great at deking. I'm just trying to make him an average NHL or like. Hey, what's up, man? How's it going? How's it going, First Warrior? Welcome to the stream. I don't think I've ever seen you here before. How's it going? We're just doing some roster editing. I'm, I'm leaving shortly, but um, if you want to hit that follow button, you can uh, tune in live when I uh, hop on the next time. I have to leave shortly because the uh, Habs game's on. I'm very excited for that. Um, but what do you think of my uh, edit so far? I, uh, I'm upgrading some players on Florida. I think they, they've earned it. They've definitely earned it. Owen Tippett, bit of an upgrade for him. Sweet. Welcome to the stream. We usually have a few other guys on here that uh, hop on, but um, a few other people that hop on here, but uh, it's a bit of a quieter night. I mean, it is a Tuesday night after a long weekend, so I'm sure people are busy tonight. And there's a game on in three minutes, so... Um, but yeah, thanks for the follow. I appreciate it. I'm happy to have you here. What do you think of Owen Tippett this year? Do you think he deserves a bit of an upgrade, or am I being a little too generous? Alright, there we go. Upgrade that. Aaron Ekblad's... Oh, Aaron Ekblad had a good year. Sam Bennett. Oh, Sam Bennett's another good one. Sam Bennett had 15 points in 10 games. This is a tricky one. This is a tricky one to upgrade. I don't know what to do with Sam Bennett. I just finished a 5-hour stream and yes, he does. Sweet. Oh, sweet. I'll, I'll give you a follow then. I'll, I'll return the favor. I'll give you a nice little follow back. Alright, strength, 87, yeah, I'll give him like average stats there, balance, how is his face-offs, eh, pretty decent, 
not great. Aggressiveness, he's definitely an aggressive player. Poise, I'll give him that. Shot blocking, he's definitely a good defensive player. There you go. I think 83 is quite fair. Um, but you, you'd say he's still a two-way forward though, right? Like I'm not, I'm not crazy to leave him as a two-way. Because I think he's still a two-way forward, despite having his strong, uh, strong seasons there, or a strong end of the season, I should say. Mason Marchment, I've seen him do some good things this year. Brandon Montour, oh, he, he did play, but not much. Denisenko, Denisenko looks good. Oh well, there you go. They give him, a, they give him a nice little overall there. Luos to Reinen, Walmart. Okay, Mason Marchment was okay. Oh, nice. Yeah, I I, tr I don't know. I can't really play. I don't. I like. I played hot too, but uh, I'm more of a franchise mode type of guy. But uh, how's your how's your uh, your hut going? Who do you have? Who do you have on there? All right, Florida. Get stats for goalies. Sergey Bobrovsky with a 906. Rough, rough. Who's your best player on your hut team? That's what I meant to ask you. And then follow that with who's your best pull? Just curious. All right, breakaway rebound. There you go. Upgrade this stuff. Downgrade that stuff. I think 80, 84 overall is quite fair. I'll tell you my lines. Sweet. Yeah, let me know. Let me know what they look like. And uh, who's your best pull of the year? Who's your best pull? I'm very curious. Uh, Chris Drieger. Whew, man. He was good too this year. Chris Drieger was great. Um, Chris Drieger is like, horribly underrated. 927. He's a great backup. I'll give him an 85. He yeah, outplayed Bobrovsky quite well. I might even downgrade Bobrovsky a little bit more. But uh, I'll leave it like that for now. I think that's that's pretty fair. Why is Spencer Knight not there? Well, this is the last team anyway, so I'll go to the AHL. 96 Hut Icons, Ted Lids. Wow. Wow. That's... <laughs> damn. That's a good pull. And is he also your best player then? Uh, okay. Okay. Florida. I don't really know Florida's. <laughs> I don't really know Florida's AHL squad. If I'm being 100% honest, I'll know when I see Spencer Knight. I guess it's not Milwaukee. It's definitely not Manitoba. Not Lee Valley. Not Iowa. Hershey, no. Henderson, no. Hartford, no. It's not Hartford. Keith Kincaid's an 81. Oof. Grand Rapids. Colorado Eagles definitely not. Cleveland, nope. Wait. Yeah, I know. Bebo, oh my god. Do you, do you know what Florida's AHL squad is? Stuart Skinner's, uh, not gonna, Panarin, Matthews, and McDavid. Damn. Damn, that's a good team. Okay, uh, Montembeau, I'm pretty sure, was Florida. He didn't play this year, though. Where's Spencer Knight? What the heck? What team is he on? I'm going to look him up. <laughs> I'm so lost. Uh, Spencer Knight, career. Uh, not NHL, all types. He played Boston College and Florida. Is he not in the game? Uh, 89, 90, 96, Ted Lindsay. Damn, and Gretzky. Damn. Is he not in the... Is Spencer Knight not in the game? Is he not in my game? Oh my gosh. Do I have to create players? Did I not... Oh, no. Oh no, he's in the game. Uh, geez, this is tough. All right, well, I guess I'll figure out Spencer Knight after. I'll, have to, I'll take a note of this and figure out Spencer Knight at a later time. Because I find I can't find this guy anywhere. Um, what the heck? In the U.S. League. Third line, Mika Zibanejad, Peter Mueller, and Quentin Byfield. Damn. 
Damn, do you have a good team? Uh, playoffs. Damn, where the heck did this guy... Where is he? Why can't I find him? I think I have to create him. I think I have to create him because he's not in my game for whatever reason. So I'll take a note of that and I'll create him in the next one because I do have to get going for the Habs game, but I'll, I'll create a note. Create Spencer Knight. There we go. Create Spencer Knight. I took a note of that. Um, so that's going to do it for this episode of Fixing the EA Rosters. Uh, huge shout out to First Warrior for joining the stream. I appreciate you. Um, I'm going to go to your channel right now and give you that follow. Ooh. Oh, you're a new uh, you're a new streamer. Good for you, man. I'm, I'm giving you the follow there. So you're at four. I'm your fourth follower. We gotta support one another, you know the the new up and coming streamers type of thing. And 90 to bring cat, 90 Marudi, and 87 Gi. Guy that I don't know. Oh, <laughs> nice. Well, I'm gonna let you go because uh, I do have to go in and have dinner, and the game's about to start. So uh, we'll have you'll have to tell me your defensive lines next time I get to talk to you. But uh, thanks for tuning in. Yeah, thank you too. Thank you too for the follow. So. Proud to be your fourth follower. I'll try to pop into your streams whenever I can. Um, just to say hi or, or, and whatnot. But uh, thanks for joining and uh, I'll talk to you later. Peace.